Okay, so as we hit the 1970s, um, audiences just didn't really know what they wanted from musical theater at this point. We had gotten past the Vietnam era, but it just didn't, I don't think it felt right to a lot of audiences to jump back into like razzle dazzle musical theater. Um, but composer and lyricist Stephen Sondheim sort of refocused the genre of musical theater in the 1970s by introducing concept musicals, which are, which are shows built around an idea rather than a traditional plot. Um, and he, he wrote a lot of these concept musicals and they really succeeded and the rock musicals kind of started to fade into the background a little bit. So Stephen Sondheim um, wrote these concept musicals. Company, I believe in 1970 was his first. He wrote uh, a little night music. And then it's really hard to pin Stephen Sondheim down into just the 70s. He wrote through the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. Um, I it's really it's hard to find really good clips of Stephen Sondheim's musicals for some reason. I I was really really looking and it was hard to find them. Um, but he's also written others that you may have heard of: Sweeney Todd, uh, Into the Woods. Um, he, a, a lesser known musical by him that I think is just, it's probably one of my favorite musicals of all time is called Assassins, where all the lead characters are, um, people who assassinated or attempted to assassinate presidents of the United States. Um, it's like a really dark, um, dark comedy musical. It's really interesting. Like really good um it's brilliant um so the thing is Stephen Sondheim is hard to pin down and also Stephen Sondheim is a genius a genius y'all um I'm not including a clip from him and I'll explain why you'll see why in a minute but the thing is he is a super genius and a lot of his shows are so amazing and um when we get to the musical theater um, study guide assignment, like, please, 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 I'm begging you, please, someone in this class, pick a Sondheim musical, and I will love you forever. That's all. Um, okay, so we had this concept musical idea um, developing, and the concept musical really peaked in 1974 with a chorus line which was conceived and directed by Michael Bennett. Um, and here's, here's why I had to go with a chorus line over anything that by Stephen Sondheim. And here's the thing, I'm bound by musical theater actors everywhere to include a clip from a chorus line because a chorus line is like the Bible for musical theater actors, especially dancers. Dancers are kind of obsessed with the chorus line. It's a very dance heavy musical. Um, and if you don't mention it or include it, you like break some kind of code and you are ousted for life. So we're going with, but no, in all seriousness, it's a really important show in musical theater history because it was a really important concept musical. It's not a Stephen Sondheim concept musical, but it is a concept musical and it was conceived and directed by Michael Bennett. Um, it is, um, it's, it's no spectacle at, at all. It's, it doesn't include all the spectacle that we expect from a musical. It's a bare stage, no big set, no big costumes. Um, the idea of a chorus line is it starts off with this huge audition scene. It's a show about actors. That's why actors love it. Actors love things about themselves. Um, so a chorus line is about actors. It starts off with a huge audition scene. It shows you what it's like to audition for a musical. It's pretty accurate. Auditioning for a musical is crazy. Um, and then um, it, the audition process goes through all the cuts and you get down to like the people who make it through all the cuts and there's like 12 actors left or something. 
And then they all have like these solo numbers where they where they sing these songs about like how hard it is to be an actor and to be putting yourself out there. And like, you know, like one of them sings a song about how she get had to get like um, plastic surgery just to be a successful actress. And another one sings a song about um, all these like horrible acting teachers that she had. And it's just, it's really like a, it's kind of a love letter to musical theater actors. And it's all done on this bare stage and they're just like auditioning for a show. Um, so I am showing you on the next slide, there is a clip from the movie, A Chorus Line, that was made. And I'm showing you, I could have gone with the stereotypical number from A Chorus Line, which is called One. You've probably heard it before. It's one singular sensation, every little move she makes. Da -da 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 -da. But I'm showing you instead the opening sequence. Um, because that's the audition sequence when it shows you like the huge audition sequence, um, that starts it all off because I just think it's more like, it shows you more of like the concept of what was trying to get done with the musical that they were trying to show this audition and all this stuff. Um, plus I just think the dancing's cool and it really, it really is what it's like to audition for a professional.